hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here this follows when we have a raised to power n minus n which is the same thing as a raised to power n over a raised to power n as this here we have 4 raised to power x over 4 squared equals to 30 on this side next step we can write this as 4 raised to the power x over 4 square 4 times 4 that's 16 and equals to can write this as 30 over 1 the next step here cross multiply 4 raised to the power x times 1 same thing as 4 raised to the power x then equals to here we have 30 times 16 the next step here we take the log on both sides that is here we have log 4 raised to the power x equals to log 30 times 16 here. Then from here, we apply the power of log when we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is here we have x log 4 equals to log 30 same 16 here then yeah this follows law of logarithm when we have log a times b this same thing as log a plus log b as this what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log 30 plus log 16. That is from here, we divide both sides by log 4. Divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4. That is log 4 cancel each other here. We have x equals to log 30 plus log 16 over log 4. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 30 over log 4 plus log 16 over log 4. That is, here, we can express 16 as 4 times 4, which is 4 squared. Oh, here yeah, becomes x equals to log 30 over log 4 plus log 4 squared over log 4. That is, next step here, we apply the power of logarithm to comes here, and we have x equals to log 30 over log plus 2 log 4 over log 4 that is a log 4 cancelled each other this becomes x equals to log 30 over log 4 plus 2 then also here we can write 30 as 2 times 15 what we have becomes x equals to log 2 times 15 over log 4 plus 2. And this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to log 2 plus log 15 over log 4 plus 2. That is, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 2 over log 4 plus log 15 over log 4 plus 2. Then, Next step here, also 15 can be written as 3 times 5. And what we have becomes x equals to log 2 over 
log 4 plus log 3 times 5 over log 4 plus 2. Then this also follows the log logarithm, and we have x equals to log 2 over log 4 plus log 3 plus log 5 over log 4 plus 2. Then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 2 over log 4 plus log 3 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 plus 2. This here we can also rewrite 4 as 2 times 2 as 2 squared. And what we have here becomes x equals to log 2 over log 2 squared plus log 3 over log 2 squared plus log 5 over log 2 squared plus 2. We apply the power of logarithm here. 2 comes in here and also here. And we have x equals to log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 3 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 plus 2. That is, except here we have log 2 cancel each other and we have 1 over 2 here. We can write this as x equals to 2 plus 1 over 2 then plus here we have 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2 plus also 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2 that is from here we have x equals to 2 plus 1 over 2 that's same thing as 5 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 over log 2 plus 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2. Then, next step here, we apply change of base. At this one, we have log A over log B. This same thing as log A to base B. At this here, we have x equals to 5 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2. Then we bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to the SCM here that's 2 and here we have 5 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 that is here we have the value of x in this problem. Then let's check if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to five plus log three is two plus log 5 is 2 all over 2 and what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 5 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2 then minus 2 is it equals to 30 on this side and here we bring this together as one fraction. This is 2 over 1 here. 
So this we have four raised to the power SCM up here. That's two. Here we still have five plus log three base two plus log five base two and minus four here. This is equals to 30 on this side. At this here we have five minus four. That's why we have four raised to the power one. Then plus log three base two plus log five base two all over two. This is equals to 30 on this side. From here, 4 can be written as 2 square. This is we have 2 square, all raised to power 1 plus log 3 raised to 2 plus log 5 raised to 2 all over 2. This is equals to 30 on this side. That is, this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 is this equals to 30 on this side as you see here this follow the law of indices and we can write this as 2 raised to power 1 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 is this equals to 30 on this side and 2 raised to power 1, that's 2 times this follows and we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. This is here we have 3 times 5. This is equals to 30 on this side. 2 times 3, 6, and 6 times 5, that's 30, equals to 30 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side, and therefore, we conclude that x equals to 5 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.